Hi, I'm Jackie M and I'm a Malaysian cook based here in Sydney, Australia. Now, last time I was on the show, they very kindly dropped off some blackfish and with that I pan fried it and made some curry sauce to go with it. This time he has done one better and sent me over some squid which is fantastic and I'm going to show you a very quick and easy recipe to use for that and you don't need any fancy ingredients but first of all I'm going to show you how to clean it okay so I've just got a squid over here you just want to remove the head the head if you want to save it for bait that's fine and we just got to remove the plastics plastic spine as well now I'm just gonna cut a quick slash down the uh, down the length of the squid and I'm just peeling off the skin as you can see it comes off quite easily really okay so I've got that done I'm just gonna cut this into rings you don't have to you can cut them into into chunks now I'm just gonna put this aside so I've got the squid all cut up and I'm just gonna move this out of the way in the meantime, I've got some oil just heating up in this wok over here. I'm just going to quickly flash fry it before I cook it a second time in this pan. And in terms of ingredients, just very simple. What would be great is if you can pick up some curry leaves at your local Asian store. If you can't find them fresh, you can always uh, get dry ones as well. And I've got some butter, some evaporated milk, just some chilli chopped up over here. I've got a little bit of flour over here. I'm using tapioca flour. You can use rice flour. You can use plain flour or corn, corn flour. And I've got a bit of minced garlic, a bit of pepper, a bit of sugar, and some chicken seasoning. Okay, chicken stock granules or chicken stock cubes would work as well. Or you can leave it out altogether and just replace it with some salt. Let's see how the oil is going. I'm just going to toss the squid rings in a bit of flour. The flour just helps to absorb some of the moisture so it doesn't spit that badly when you fry this up. Okay, let's see how we go. So it's just bubbling up to the top so we know it's ready. I'm just going to add the rest of the squid in. You don't want to overcook this. You just want to crisp it up very, very quickly. Okay, it's ready to be taken out. I'm just using a slotted spoon over here. Just be a little bit careful with it because it can spit a little bit. Okay, so that's step one done. And I'm just heating this frying pan over here. And to that, I'm just going to add a bit of butter. A fair bit of butter actually. Just want to heat it up and throw in some garlic and the curry leaves and the chili as well just if you like it spicy just add more chili if you don't you can leave it out completely you want to melt the butter and you want to brown the garlic a little bit Again, it won't take long. And you can toss in the squid. Mix it around, add some seasoning. So I'm just throwing in the pepper. You want a pinch of sugar in here. And about a half teaspoon of chicken stock granules and just the evaporated milk. There you go, I'm just going to plate this up. So as you can see, very, very quick and easy. Just within probably about five minutes, we've managed to whip up a wonderful, scrumptious uh, squid with uh, evaporated milk and butter dish. If you want the full recipe to this, just go to my website, which is jackiem.com.au 
And in the meantime, why don't we go back to Dave and see what he's got in store for us. <laughs> 